Nathaniel West, the American author and screenwriter, crafted his novel The Day of the Locust, 1939, against the backdrop of early Hollywood. The protagonist, Todd Hackett, a recent graduate from the Yale School of Fine Arts, lands a job in a Hollywood studio designing and painting movie backdrops. However, as Todd immerses himself in the industry, he is swiftly disenchanted by the superficial ambitions of those around him. His artistic endeavors, particularly a painting titled The Burning of Los Angeles, symbolize his disillusionment with the illusory promises of the American dream, which he perceives as a collective disillusionment shared by the city's inhabitants. As Todd navigates his new environment, he encounters a spectrum of individuals, all drawn to California in pursuit of their dreams amidst the Great Depression. Amidst the burgeoning film industry, Todd finds himself working on various projects, from reimagining historical battles to sketching the vibrant life within studio lots. Yet, beneath the glitz and glamour, Todd senses an undercurrent of dissatisfaction and unrest, culminating in a chaotic Hollywood premiere. Written in episodic form, The Day of the Locust offers a poignant exploration of West's critique of fame and the entertainment industry. Todd's journey mirrors the disillusionment and existential crises faced by many in pursuit of the Hollywood dream during this tumultuous era. While engrossed in his work, he seeks inspiration for his upcoming personal painting, The Burning of Los Angeles. During this time, Hackett encounters Faye Greener, an aspiring film star, residing nearby. Through Faye and her circle of friends, Hackett delves deeper into the various stereotypes prevalent in Hollywood. He encounters individuals like the dwarf Abe Cusick, the prolific screenwriter Claude S. Day, and Earl Shoup, who embodies the cowboy archetype. Each person he meets grapples with carving out their identity amidst the allure of fame and fortune, often mirroring the personas they portray professionally. Observing the overlap between Hollywood's performance culture and its social dynamics, Hackett becomes increasingly aware of the pressures and struggles faced by those in the industry. His feelings for Faye intensify, despite knowing her preference for men of exceptional looks or wealth, qualities he lacks. Despite their budding connection, Faye relegates him to the role of a friend, leaving Hackett grappling with his unrequited affection. As his infatuation deepens, Hackett experiences conflicting emotions, envisioning drastic actions fueled by his unbridled desires. He battles with intrusive fantasies, tinged with darkness and violence, which he struggles to control. These impulses, though unsettling, remain unchecked as Hackett navigates the complexities of his burgeoning feelings for Faye. The theme of interruptions pervades the novel, manifesting in various instances. For instance, a film depicting the home of actress Mrs. Jennings abruptly ends before its climax, prompting jests about its brevity resembling a teaser trailer. In Hackett's neighborhood, he encounters Homer Simpson, a man of simple mind who relocated from Iowa to California for health reasons. Homer grapples with a motor control disorder, expending considerable effort to suppress its manifestations. Despite his attempts to leave California, Homer is thwarted by a sudden outbreak of violence following a disastrous film premiere. Hindered by his condition, Homer unwittingly becomes embroiled in the chaos, exacerbated by the bullying of a young neighbor, Adore Loomis. The film premiere, held at Mr. Khan's Pleasure Dome, descends into turmoil, ironically mirroring the scene envisioned in Hackett's painting, The Burning of Los Angeles. As events unfold, Hackett realizes the prophetic nature of his artwork, suggesting an unconscious understanding of Los Angeles life even before his arrival. Rather than recoiling from the culture, this realization fosters a sense of belonging for Hackett, culminating in a sense of integration. The novel concludes ambiguously, refraining from moral judgment regarding Hackett's embrace of modernization. The narrative leaves unresolved questions about the consequences of his immersion into the tumultuous world of Los Angeles, inviting contemplation on the complexities of adaptation and acceptance. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.